Hello students, welcome back to my channel. This is Jagdeep. Have you ever wondered why a certain product becomes super popular just overnight? Or why a certain product exits the market? What drives these changes? Well, the answer lies just in front of you and that is change in demand. Let us quickly take a look at what a change in demand is. And this is going to be the topic of today's video. Let's dive in. As you can see, changes in demand occur due to changes in other factors that affect the demand for a commodity. When we talk about other factors, it indicates that price as a factor that affects demand is playing no role here. Because of these other factors affecting demand, it causes the demand curve to shift. And this shift in the demand curve can either be in terms of an increase in demand curve, in demand, or a decrease in demand. When we say that there's an increase in demand, the demand curve is shifting to the right where more of the quantity is getting demanded at the same price or price being unchanged. Conversely, on the other hand, when there's a decrease in demand, the demand curve shifts to the left. And in this case, less or fewer quantities of goods are getting demanded at the same price. This is the basic um, gist of what changes or change in demand is all about. Let's take a look at what increase in demand is as far as its graphical representation is concerned. Now in this slide, we can see that uh, there's a graph, there's a schedule, and we have a heading which says increase in demand. Now what is increase in demand? So it's a situation where there is a rise in the demand for a commodity, which is caused due to any factor that affects demand other than its own price. And that's pretty much evident in this particular schedule where the price is still at $1, but the quantity demanded has gone up from 10 units to 15 units. When this particular scenario is plotted on this particular graph, we can see that we have two demand curves here. How come we are getting these two demand curves? Let's take a look. On this graph, we have Y axis, which measures the price in terms of dollars. And we have X axis, which measures the quantity demanded in terms of units. We have $1, which is the price in this particular schedule. And we have two pointers here marked on the X axis, which denotes the units of the quantity being demanded. Now, at the same price, which is $1, initially 10 units of the commodity were getting demanded. And based on this, we have a demand curve, which is D1. Now this demand curve is called as the initial demand curve. When the quantity demanded rises, we get another demand curve. Why? Because the price didn't change. So at the same price, now a higher quantity is getting demanded, which is 15 units. And passing through this particular point, we have the, the new demand curve, which is D2. Why are we getting a new demand curve altogether in this case? Because it's not just one particular price point where more is getting demanded here. In this particular scenario, even if the price rises, more would still be demanded as compared to the initial scenario. Hence, the entire demand curve shifts to the right from D1 to D2. This represents increase in demand. And this diagram and schedule makes it pretty much evident that the price has no evident role here. It does not uh, influence the quantity demanded. How do we explain this particular uh, graph? That's how I've written here. So in this diagram, at initial price of $1, quantity demanded is 10 units, which is this, and D1, which is this, is the initial demand curve. Now, since the new demand curve is in red, I've written it in red. So now we can see the demand is rising from 10 units to 15 units at $1. So demand curve D1 is shifting to the right from D1 to D2, representing an increase in demand. This is what an increase in demand is. Let's quickly take a look at what these other factors are. 
and how they could influence or cause the demand to increase. So these are the factors other than the price of the commodity that could cause the demand for a particular commodity to go up. So for example, there's an increase in consumer's income. So when the consumer's income increases, he would be in a better position, his ability to pay for the commodity increases. So he wouldn't mind purchasing a larger quantity of the commodity at the same price, causing the demand curve to shift to the right. A reduction in income tax, a very rare scenario, but if there are some changes in the income tax and the tax slabs have been revised and they have been reduced, people would be left with more disposable income in their hands to spend. Again, they wouldn't mind buying larger quantities of the commodity at the same price, causing the demand curve to shift to the right. When we say an increase in the price of substitutes, so substitutes are those commodities which you could use instead of the other. For example, tea and coffee are substitutes. You can either have tea or coffee. So if uh, a person who drinks coffee sees that um, the price of tea has gone up, he would prefer drinking more coffee because coffee is more affordable, more cheap. Why? Because tea is comparatively expensive and he would get fewer units of that particular commodity. So that would push the demand curve for coffee to the right. Another factor is could be a fall in the price of a complementary commodity. Now for those who don't know what complementary commodities are, these commodities are jointly demanded to satisfy a single want. Say for example, car and fuel. So you can't operate a car without fuel. If, if you have fuel but no car, you still can't travel. So those are complementary goods. So if there's a fall in the price of a complementary product, more of the other commodity that goes with the complementary product would be demanded, causing the demand curve to shift to the right because in this case, there's no role of price of the commodity, of the main commodity. So these are the factors that would cause the demand curve for a particular commodity to increase and the demand curve to shift to the right. Now let's quickly take a look at what a decrease in demand is. So as we can see, here is a decrease in demand and it's just the opposite of an increase in demand. So it would refer to a reduction or a fall in the quantity demanded of a commodity that is caused by all the factors other than its own price. It's in the sense the commodity's own price. Now we can see the schedule and the graph here. The schedule is again depicting more or less the same thing. There's no change in the price, but the demand is changing. In this case, the demand is reducing. It is falling from 50 units to 25 units, nearly 50% drop in the demand. Now, when we plot this particular situation on the graph where Y de uh, depicts the prices in dollars and X axis depicts the quantity demanded in units, we can see that at the price, which is $2, the initial quantity was 50 units and we got our initial demand curve, the blue uh, demand curve labeled as D1. Now, when the demand for this commodity is going down, it is shifting to the left because now fewer units of this commodity are getting demanded without any change in the price. So now 25 units of this particular commodity are getting demanded giving us a new demand curve, which is D2. Now, if we, play, if we pay close attention, the demand curve has shifted from D1 to D2 and it's a shift towards the left. This indicates a decrease in demand. How do we write this as an explanation? This is where we've written it. So in this diagram, at initial price, which is $2, quantity demanded is 50 units and D1, which is this blue demand curve, is the initial demand curve. However, when demand falls to 25 units, price is still at $2. We can see this evidently here. And this causes the demand curve to shift to the left, giving us a red demand curve or the new demand curve labeled as D2. Now, for all those people who are watching this video and who have understood the concept 
as a homework i would expect you to give me the reasons why the demand has decreased or what are the factors that could cause this leftward shift this leftward shift in the demand curve in the comment box below if you like the video and if you want more such stuff to come forward from me do give me a like and let the video reach to all those people who need this clarification i'll see you in my next video bye now cheers